What are some of the key lessons we can take from Morehouse that might be useful in this context? Well, I, I just think, um, you know, I go back to that place where I was, um, I just finished, come out of the glow of Morehouse and came here to Harvard. And um, um, what I knew about Morehouse is that the minute I stepped onto that campus, um, they knew my name. Mm -hmm. right? um, they had seen me before, and I felt the place was built for me. Um, there is, I, I go to a, a, a quote I used uh, as President Morehouse um, because it was true for me as a student at Morehouse, and it's from Mark Twain. Mark Twain said, um, the two most important days in your life are the day you're born and the day you find out why. And for, for me, at Morehouse, I had my second day. I found out why, why I was born. I, I got on a pathway that, um, that became clear to me at Morehouse. The same is true for Spike. Um, Spike Lee was going, uh, he will tell you, he's told this story a number of times. He was going nowhere uh, his first two years. He went to Morehouse because his dad went to Morehouse. And he had exhausted all of his electives, hadn't chosen major, and uh, found a camera between his sophomore and junior year and used it that summer. It was the summer, summer of Sam. And, um, and came back, and I'll never forget this. He said, John, I know what I want to do. I said, what? He said, I want to make film. He had his second day, mm -hmm. and he, he made a film before he graduated Morehouse, and, and, and the rest is history. Jay Johnson was my first commencement speaker at, at Morehouse was uh, Barack Obama. Wow. Uh, my second was Jay Johnson. That's a good lineup. Jay Johnson had just been chosen as Homeland Security Secretary, and he was my classmate, so I said, check. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jay came down, and essentially his commencement address was about him having his second day at Morehouse. He, in his, at the end of his freshman year, it didn't take as long as Spike, at the end of his freshman year, <laughs> he just, he looked around. He wasn't that disciplined a student. And he saw all these guys who looked like him, and he said, you know what? I can do this. Mm -hmm. And he just cleaned himself up. Became, we became uh, very close friends, and he went and got straight A's, went to NYU Law, and the rest is history. I had my second day. I, there is such a thing, Dr. Bleich, as second day institutions. Mm -hmm. Institutions that specialize in giving students, putting things in place so that it is far more likely that they will discover for the first time why I was born. Part of our mission, one way to talk about it, is we're trying to make Harvard University the premier second day institution in the world. It is not now, but it can be. And if we elevate character preeminence to be on par with capital preeminence and we get the right things going on in the area of inclusion and belonging, I think we'll be there.